These are the safest builds in 2K25. A lot of people is going to be trying to tell you what the best builds is. Nobody knows what the best build is in 2K. It just dropped. Maybe they have a great idea because they played it a little bit, but nobody knows. Everybody is pretty much basing it off of 2K24. And then as we learn the game, then we will know what works and what doesn't work to make the best build possible. But there are some builds that no matter what, you can't go wrong with them. These are the safest builds in 2K25. The first build. First, what you want to do, make a shooting guard, 6'6". Six, six. Pretty sure a lot of 6'6s six, are going to be the meta once again. You could go higher, you can go lower, but 6'6". Six, six should do the job the weight 201 wingspan 67 now i'm going to do a template of what you should put then let you work the build how you should work the build first we're starting off with your three point i would say as far as right now a 92 three should be good all right now if you want to go a higher mid range that's on you but i'm pretty sure you cannot go wrong with a high three pointer this early into the game especially when everybody's not able to shoot as good and you're guaranteed to get a lot of the good jump shots unless you got to wait until a certain rank and to get them i would say 93 if you want limitless gold if you don't keep it at 92 have a 70 free throw 75 pass hack 75 pass hack was a very good pass accuracy in 24 i have a good feeling it is very good and very useful in 25 your ball handle you are a 3 and d man if you want to have a little bit of dribbles you can perimeter a 92 92 because you get no challenger you will also get gold menace and you will also get gold pick dodger steel i would say minimum glove and interceptor they have to be gold that is a standard you are a three and d so you have to do three and d things especially because bump steals potentially will go crazy and lane steals will potentially go crazy your speed 85 now depending on if speed is used for or not you can go lower, but I will go 85. So then you can get gold slippery off ball because as I said, you are a three ND guy. Agility 80. That was for, as I said earlier, you get gold on ball menace, gold pick dodger, and you get shifty shooter strength. I will go minimum 82 for silver and movable forcer. Depending on if it is viable, like it was last year, strength will matter. And then after that, you do what you want with your build. Here are the takeovers that you're able to get with the shooting guard moving on inside bigs you can never go wrong with an inside big if that inside big knows what the fuck they're doing if you don't know what you're doing then move on all right so what you want to do seven foot weight 256 wingspan seven eight you're inside you need to be as big as possible so standing dunk minimum you have have to have at least a 90 standing dunk so you can get gold rise up. You should also have driving dunk so you can do both instead of just being a standing dunk guy. 89 driving dunk gets you pro contact dunks and alley-oop dunks. Free throw. A lot of people don't put free throws on them, but I would say if you can go to 70. Pass accuracy. I would say at least 75. In order to get gold break starter, you need a 87 pass accuracy. If you feel like you need that for your build, you can do that, but you are going to have to sacrifice. Now, if Black works how I did last year, Black will matter. And I would say at least get gold paint patrol. You need a 93 block and a 77 interior defense. Steel, I would say 60 for steel. So potentially, you're probably not going to get it every time. At least you can get in the lanes and get a steal. Because there's a lot of bigs, bro. You can just throw that motherfucker at them. They can't do nothing about that pass. I don't know about you that shit is fucking annoying we will come to the rebound and last your speed a 66 and for your agility a 46 your strength a 95 and then your vertical 80 the reason why i say 80 is because you get the high flyer denier and you have to have a 66 speed to have it on gold and then for rebounding I would recommend you put your defensive rebound up to a 96 that gets you Hall of Fame rebound chaser and Hall of Fame box out beast. If you're one of those people that likes to put your offensive rebound higher than your defensive rebound, if you want to, you get a little bit more attributes if you put up your offensive rebound. All right, so you see how I have a 96 defensive rebound and an 86 offensive rebound. That's the max I can go for that. So if I swap them, so 86 and then 96, you know what I'm saying? I'm able to just go up one. So that's up to you if you want that extra attribute. Here are the takeovers that you are able to get. Every year, post scores will always be the best builds to start off with 
when 2k drops i promise you now a lot of people want to go 6-3 max weight max wingspan but you don't get a lot of attributes and i will show you that here soon we're going to go seven foot 256 seven eight wingspan your standing dunk 90 your post control a 96 your close shot a 94 that is for hall of fame hook specialist your post control that gives you gold unpluckable now if you plan on hitting fades you can do that you can go up but we gonna skip that as i said this is a post score straight one-on-ones with this build all right your strength you are a post score you need strength 95 minimum any less something's wrong with you your vertical 70 your block depending on how valuable block is i would say go for a 93 that's my opinion if you want to go lower you can go lower you will get a lot of points back if you do i promise you you're rebounding it depends on you but i would say for a post scoring big offensive rebound is a little bit more useful so a 96 and then an 85 rebound now after this it is a all up to you thing of course you're going to want speed so how high you want to go with the speed depends on you now for those people who likes to have the biggest build possible let me show you something so you see everything that i can get straight like this we're going to switch it up we're going to go seven three we're not going to max out the weight just to give them a little bit more of a chance but we are going to max out the wingspan and we're going to put the weight up to where at least we get the 95 strength let's see everything we could get 95 oh can't even go up there okay i can't even get the gold paint patrol all right you go down with the interior defense your strength goes down at least you could get that post control the standing dunk and the close shot right but then what are you willing to sacrifice you're gonna have to take less block what's the minimum you're gonna have to go silver at that point like it, it just gets worse like okay let me let me go down to 80. oh snap i have to have an 81 all right bam I still only get a 94. I still can't even get the Hall of Fame brick wall. And my vertical is below a 70. So now I only get bronze pogo stick. I mean, so it's a, what are you willing to sacrifice if you want to be this big? A 7-1 also can be valuable. Let's see. 7-1, max wingspan. Put the weight up just to make sure we at least get the 95 strength. 95 strength. Cool. Do we get that 85? Bet. We get that 93 block cool all this is still the same that's good that's wonderful we can put the interior defense down 85 is the lowest that you can go for the interior defense to not let it affect your strength still pretty useful right i would say get that 70 vertical to get pogo stick silver all right if you go any higher you sacrificing a lot so it, it just it just depends on what you're willing to sacrifice at what point do you consider the attributes are more important than your height because it's not like you're going to be sweet at seven foot if you wanted to you can have an 88 into your defense if you want you can go higher with the strength so it's like what do, what do you care about the most because i'm pretty sure you're going to be going against other post scores do you want to be able to defend it and also be able to cook up as i said man do what you want with the bills man that is just the template here are the takeovers that you get for the post score those in my opinion are the best bills to start off with if you want your money's worth until everybody else is able to come up with the best possible bills these are the best bills to start off with so then you don't feel like you wasted your money later on when everybody is making the best bills you can still say my build is pretty useful